Good evening, and I uh, am your mayor, Cameron Smythe, and I am very grateful and thankful to be here today with all of our colleagues on the city council, uh, our first responders, our community leaders, uh, to celebrate and recognize our healthcare heroes here at Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital. Let's have a round of applause first today for our And if you haven't seen, we have uh, some staff that have been poking their heads out from the, uh, the windows that are still working. So if you see them, uh, feel free to give, the, give them a wave so they know that we're seeing them and we're recognizing and appreciate their work. As you all know, today is National Nurses Day. All right, we're gonna have a flyover, so we'll pause for that for a minute. Thanks to our sheriffs, pilots for flying over. They must have thought we were asking them to do another round, so all right. <laughs> all right, there we go. Let's have one last round of applause for our first responders. I do want to make some quick uh, introductions. Uh, as we uh, saw our Sheriff's Department fly over, we have uh, our Captain Justin Diaz is here. Captain, thank you for being here. Our CHP Captain, uh, Captain Ed Crucy. Ed, is here as well. Thanks. From our Fire Department, we have Battalion Chief Jason Swan. And I'd like to introduce our colleagues from the City Council, I've got Mayor Pro Tem Bill Miranda, Council Member Lorreen West, Council Member Marsha McLean, and our City Manager Ken Stripper. All right. So as we all know, today is Nas National Nurses Day, and we want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the hundreds of nurses, as well as our doctors, administrative staff, emergency room staff, cleaning, cleaning staff, and all of the other employees here at the hospital for their work on the front lines of this COVID-19 pandemic. So let's first have a round of applause for everybody on the front lines. The excellent care provided by every staff member here at Henry Mayo has been instrumental in slowing the spread of this virus and aiding our patients towards recovery. The team here has been essential in caring for those who have tested positive, treating the dozens who have required hospitalization, and we certainly grieve with them for the loss of lives uh, who have succumbed to this virus. And we're here today to formally and officially thank you, each and every one of you, for your astounding, outstanding dedication and commitment to your community. And we know that you make this sacrifice many times at the expense of your own family. You're here taking care of our community while you have family members at home, uh, some are, you have kids that are learning, uh, going through the distance learning, uh, and yet you still are here day after day serving our community, and we couldn't be more proud uh, to have you all part of the Santa Clarita family. 
We are also joined here today by our other frontline workers and our other frontline heroes, uh, particularly uh, our staff of, uh, at the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, the Fire Department, and the California Highway Patrol, uh, all who are here uh, today as well. As you saw, we had uh, a flyover, uh, and we want to continue with the embracing of the city's Hearts for Heroes campaign. Uh, this was something that our city wanted to come up with uh, as a way to uh, honor and, and recognize uh, our frontline heroes. And the Heart for Heroes program, as you can see, uh, many of us are wearing uh, the shirts, which encourages residents to design a heart, display it, and post their message of gratitude on their social media to help show and support their appreciation for our local uh, essential workers. Since the campaign began, uh, we have seen hearts all throughout uh, the city's social media pages, uh, individual social media feeds, and a number, countless number of doors uh, and windows where people have displayed uh, their individual hearts. The shirts that you see us wearing uh, are also uh, for sale uh, and we encourage people uh, to, to purchase them because uh, pros, part of the proceeds do go right back here uh, to the hospital uh, and these shirts have been uh, created by a local business, VIA Promotionals, uh, and again, it's a good way to show your support uh, but also demonstrate your support for a local business and help those proceeds coming right back here uh, to the hospital foundation. If you want to download a, a heart or you want to uh, look at purchasing a, a shirt, uh, you can go to santa-clarita.com slash hearts for heroes. And we encourage anybody that participates and does their artwork to use the hashtag hearts for heroes. Uh, so then we are able to identify it and display it throughout the numerous social media platforms. So in just a few minutes, we will uh, light up the Hearts for Heroes logo uh, on the beautiful new patient tower uh, here at the hospital. Uh, but before we do that, I would like to invite up uh, our hospital CEO, Roger Siever, to join us and to say a few words. Roger. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, members of the council that are here to celebrate our heroes at healthcare and to celebrate the first responder heroes that serve in our community. I think it's ironic, but uh, true, that uh, such a national or worldwide event really brought to life the, the heroes that exist 24-7 every day in our community. For those that uh, work here at the hospital, uh, this recognition will never be enough for the dedicated work that they do, the abilities they have, and the care and compassion that they show to people that are either injured or ill or sick and in the hospital, or perhaps receiving a handoff from some of the other first responders that serve our community. I think the uh, news channels have done a good job of really showing the value that exists across the country uh, with healthcare heroes everywhere. But I don't think every community has the support from the community that we do. And I would say that not only from the other first uh, responders that are here that also serve 24-7 to help protect this community, help to be there and to be a partner with those of us here at the hospital. And while we want to pay special recognition to nurses on this day, we never work alone in healthcare. There's always a team around us, uh, the team of healthcare providers, the physicians that are here uh, leading the way, giving the direction, and advocating best for the patients and the caregivers to do their best as well. But the rest of the team who are at work and supporting this great healthcare team also deserve this recognition. And I really appreciate uh, all the words you've said. Um, there's one thing that disappointed me here, Cameron. I thought you were gonna fly in 
twirl around a little bit, then parachute out. What, wasn't that what you said you were going to do? Oh, okay. <laughs> to be safe, I guess. The, the, the mayor couldn't quite do the whole show. But I uh, really appreciate this recognition. Uh, your efforts uh, for Hearts for Heroes is uh, a nice, uh, great gesture, really. And to remember those on the front lines every day because they also go through some real tough times and uh, they deserve our support. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Roger. And I think uh, your point about uh, our community being so unique uh, and special is certainly something that uh, I know those of us on the council were supposed to say because that's uh, our job to be homers for Santa Clarita, but uh, we clearly uh, do set a standard uh, throughout not only LA County, but I believe the rest of California uh, as a community that knows how to come around one another, support one another, uh, and I would say put our arms around one another, but not at this moment, putting our arms around one another uh, to provide uh, our support and, and recognition. And uh, you know, because we are such a community, uh, I do feel compelled that I, I do, I have to recognize uh, Dr. Nishiguchi who's here who delivered all three of my kids. Uh, and is still, he's probably delivered more than just my three kids, but uh, I, that's what I'm focused on. And uh, all, you know, right here at, at our local hospitals, uh, and again, that's just an example. Many of you live here in Santa Clarita. You put your school, your kids in the local schools. Uh, you, you may know or see your friends and neighbors that have to come through uh, for, uh, you know, for treatment and services. And, and I think it's important to remind uh, the community uh, that if, if you need uh, treatment, if you have an injury or you need services, please come to the emergency room. Uh, please come and get uh, you know, get, get diagnosed, get your uh, proper medical care that you need. Uh, don't be afraid to come to our local hospital uh, for your services. Uh, it is, uh, you know, we hear stories of people who don't uh, want to come and they're treating themselves uh, at home. Uh, you know, that's more dangerous than coming uh, to our local hospital uh, where our staff is ready and prepared uh, to treat you uh, and to give you that first class service that you've come to expect here at Henry Mayo. So again, if you are uh, hearing this and you have, uh, you feel a need to, uh, for care, please do not hesitate uh, to come to the hospital for uh, the services that you may uh, or, or may not need. Uh, and I talked about our community and our community partners. Uh, we would not be able to uh, have this event tonight uh, if it not for uh, our the support of Illumination Dynamics. Uh, they were uh, what our partners uh, several weeks ago uh, in delivering a, a generator here to the hospital. Uh, Illumination Dynamics is the first tenant uh, in the city's Needham Ranch business park, uh, and they have embraced our community uh, and are a vital supporter uh, during these challenging times. And so I would like to invite up uh, Jeff Cookson from Illumination Dynamics to say a few words as well in their commitment to our community and their partnership. Jeff. Good evening, everybody. Um, uh, thank you so much for the invitation to attend this celebration of our healthcare workers on National Nurses Day. We are pleased to have the opportunity to recognize the incredible contribution the nurses and first responders are making to our health and safety. Our company, Illumination Dynamics, has recently moved to the center at Needham Ranch, a new development here in Santa Clarita. Many of our employees have been longtime residents of the area and as such, we feel very connected to the city. As members of this community, we feel it's very important to participate in any initiatives to support local services during this time of need. Helping our local hospital in any way is something we are proud to do. Illumination Dynamics is an equipment rental company providing lighting and portable power to the entertainment industry. As such, when we were asked if we had a generator we could provide for the ER department, we were more than happy to we're more than happy to donate our equipment. We are also honored to provide the equipment to project this great image onto the wall here, sending a heartfelt message of thanks and support to our nurses. From all of us at Illumination Dynamics, a big thank you to all nurses and first responders. We appreciate all that you do. Stay strong, 
be safe, and once again, thank you. All right, thank you, Jeff, and again, thank you, too. Uh, again, as we know, Santa Clarita is a community that comes together, uh, whether it be a private company, the city, uh, our nonprofits, our hospitals, everyone comes together for the good of the community, and we can't thank uh, Illumination Dynamics enough for their support and partnership. So we are about to uh, to light the uh, the projection. Uh, we I was told I needed to stretch it a little bit because uh, as we get closer to sunset, uh, the better the image will be. Uh, but we wanted to have this program now because we know we're in a transition uh, of staffing, and we certainly wanted uh, our nurses uh, to see this be lit. Uh, and uh, to know how much we and, and Santa Clarita and this community supports them, not just on National Nurses Day, uh, but every day that they come uh, to work. Uh, we know uh, this, uh, this will be uh, projected uh, for uh, several weeks, uh, so it won't just be here today, uh, but as you drive by, uh, our community will see this uh, for an extended period of time, because again, we're not here just to say thank you today on National Nurses Day, uh, but every day uh, we can. So uh, if we are, if we're ready, we're ready for the we're countdown already. So if I could, if my counsel come on up and close our, so our captain can I come up uh, as close as we can here and we will, uh, we don't have a, a, a switch to flip, but uh, we'll do, if everyone wants to join, we'll do a countdown together and uh, we'll start at five and then uh, we will see it. Uh, lit up. So uh, if we start together, let's go with five, four, three, two, one. Light it up. Again, we want to thank uh, everybody for, for coming. Uh, again, thank our partners uh, here at Henry Mayo Illumination Dynamics. Uh, and all of our frontline workers uh, who are need to get back home, get some sleep, get some food, because I know you're just turning around real quick and we'll be back here uh, tomorrow. So we just again thank you all so very much for what you're doing for our community. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.